Welcome everyone to the World in Focus podcast, your compass for a 390 degree perspective of global challenges shaping our interconnected world. I am His Excellency Ambassador Professor Dr. Idilizi, your presenter through a very captivating conversation, unraveling stories, we look at solutions and ideas that actually influence the course of history. Bem-vindos, exploradores, ao Word in Focus podcast, o vosso guia para uma visão de 390 graus dos desafios globais que moldam nosso mundo interconectado. Eu sou o embaixador, professor Adrian Desley, e o vosso apresentador através de conversas envolventes que desenvende e vendem histórias, soluções e ideias que influenciam o curso de história. In each episode, we dive deep into critical topics, featuring interviews with experts, activists, and thought leaders. Together, we explore complexities um, of our era for, from the urgent um, call of climate change to environmental sustainability to intricate threads of human rights, um, social um, justice. We navigate the delicate balance of global peace and professional and personal development as we seek pathways um, for solutions. In each cada episode, we regulamos profundamente in topics criticos, presentando entrevistas con especialistas, activistas y leaders de pensamientos Junto, junto uh, exploramos sus complexidades de nossa era, em deste de chamando um, urgente de mudanças climáticas, e sustentabilidade ambiental, até os fios eh, intricados dos de, um, direitos humanos e justiça social. Navegamos, no, na, navegamos delicado equilíbrio né? entre, entre a paz global e o desenvolvimento profissional e pessoal buscando caminhos eh, e para soluções para o nosso mundo. Um, today we're going to be looking at navigating organizational season, a conversation exploring cultural formation barriers um, we're going to look at flourishing dynamics and growth through coaching and professional development. I would like to welcome each and every one of you. Um, it's good to be here with you once again today. Um, we're diving deep into the often mysterious waters of organizational culture. And, you know, it's like really the backstage magic of a concert. You might not see it, but it's what makes the show unforgettable. So I would like to grab, uh, you know, I would like to grab a cup of co uh, water, I invite you to grab a cup of virtual coffee or tea, and let's chat about how this culture, you know, thing forms, how this culture actually helps us to avoid organizational hurdles, and what makes it thrive, and how coaching and professional development um, can add even more value um, to your organization. First of all, you have to understand the fundamental uh, foundation elements, um, things like how leadership is really like the North Star. You know, I worked in a place where the CEO's commitment to a healthy work-life balance wasn't just a tagline, you know, it was a living, breathing part of everyday experience. It made a very big difference within the organization. And you know, it made a difference because the culture started at the top and it seeped down into every corner of the organization. And, you know, and then there was the mission and the vision, you know, and there are like the epic soundtracks, you know, playing in the background of your favorite movie, whether it's Braveheart or, or um, a, a more um, serious movie like The Matrix. You know, you ever been in a place where you know, you're all, you're, you're, you're with others and you're all on the same page. You feel it, you're getting it. You're all heading in the same direction. You know, um, have it heading towards a common goal. Well, that's what that is like. You know, um, socializing and onboarding are very important 
intricate elements of organizational culture. You know, think of onboarding as the first date of your work relationship. It sets the tone for everything that follows. I remember when I joined a team um, in Greece that they had this buddy system for newbies, you know. It made me feel like I was a part of the community from, from you know, for that one day because what they did was, you know, um, it wasn't just passing information on how the organization functioned, but you had this opportunity to kind of buddy up with another person, get their perspective, but also learn some of the nuances of language and, and body, the body, both body language and, you know, um, as well as spoken language. You know, shared values are like the secret sauce of any organization, organizational culture. Imagine everyone in the workplace, you know, speaking the same cultural language. It's not just about the work, you know, it's about a shared identity. You ever had a moment um, where you and your co-worker just got it? You're just taught, or you and you and a leader, another leader, you're working on a project together and you just, you just catch the vision. Just get the mission. Just understand what is supposed to be done. Well, you know, um, and this brings things like ceremonies and traditions, you know, and rituals with because every even organizations have ceremonies and rituals and 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 um, the, the, you know, they're like the family reunion that we have, or whether it's a weekly team huddle, you know, a SWOT analysis meeting, um, a brainstorming meeting. You know, whether you do it weekly or you do it yearly, like your yearly retreat, these rituals create a real sense of continuity. Because when you know that your opinion matters, but not only that, but you hear opinions of others, it is not just about the work. It's now about a shared experience because you've, you've shared now, you know, what is happening, what is going on to make, you know, and this makes the culture real. Because the culture, the organizational culture is not something that's just out there, but you are experiencing it every day with the people. And that's why you have to look at things like barriers to organizational culture. You know, resistance to change is a very big one. You know, even though change is constant, you know, we still find it hard to, to embrace um, change because change is, change is difficult because it means I have to learn something I didn't know before or do something I haven't done before. And that's where a lack of leadership alignment comes in. Leaders must be able to see clearly so that they can really bring that guidance and that and that leadership. You know, have you ever been in a meeting where the boss says one thing, you know, or you say one thing as a leader and your team completely reads or understands something totally different? Well, that's what this is like. You know, it's like dancing to two different beats. Alignment is critical within organizational culture. And the more you spend time interacting with each other within the organization the more you learn that culture and there are good behaviors in organizations and there are bad behaviors in organizations and when you're a newbie you know it's easy to take on you know whether a person is practicing uh, silo fragmentation for example you know because they're like silo the silos are like invisible walls and in the building departments whether it is that you're trying to hold information away from because maybe you're working in the IT department and you don't want your IT to confuse the person working in sales. But, I, but we have to have this whole system approach when it comes to understanding organizational culture. Because organizational culture runs like the blood in the organization. You know, I once worked in a place where every department felt like it was its own island. You know, and even though, yes, we were working with persons who spoke Japanese, Spanish, German, French. Um, Portuguese um, we had to find a way to break on those walls and what we did is that we had a lot of team a lot of team um, building exercises before hard meetings uh, and and that's what I think I think that we need to recognize that organizational culture is complicated but once understood we can make a difference I am your presenter for today and thank you so very much for listening Share your ideas and your opinions. We're bringing a pre-recorded because we're having issues with the Wi-Fi. Thank you, guys. Ambassador Professor Dr. Dizzy. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.